How's it going, folks? Well, I'm out of beer. I'm not happy about that. But okay. This should be intoxicating enough. By the way, I just finished reading a DNC. Uh, I mean, I just finished reading Third Nephi 19. And I, it's going to be a nightmare to edit. I'm thinking about putting my BOM readings uh, on this channel too, so I don't have to. I can just throw them up and let them be long. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> if you want to watch them, you'll watch them, even if they're long. And there's just no way to make them interesting short. Anyway. Section 11 of the Doctrine and Covenants. And I have not pre-read this. Unlike my BOM readings, where I read it like a year before I started this. Straight through. I have not read this. But it's turning out to be a little interesting, actually. So. Revelation given through Joseph Smith the prophet, to his brother, Hiram Smith, at Harmony, Pennsylvania, May 1829. This revelation was received through the Urim and Thummim in answer to Joseph's supplication and inquiry. The coming forth of a great and marvelous work proclaimed. Hiram, restrained from preaching for the time being, he not being yet baptized and ordained. He is assured of the gift of God awaiting his preparation to receive. The organization of that church foreshadowed. Hiram admonished to learn the word of God before attempting to proclaim it. Warned against denying the spirit of revelation and prophecy. You're a bad boy, Hiram. <laughs> okay. No beer. Damn it. One. A great and marvelous work is about to come forth among the children of men. Two. Behold. I am God. Give heed to my word, which is quick and powerful, sharper than a two-edged sword. A sharp two-edged sword, by the way. To the dividing asunder of both joints and marrow. Therefore, give heed unto my words. Three. Behold, the field is white already to harvest. How many times does he say that now? He said it like three different, three different sections, I think, now. White field. Harvest time. Therefore, whoso desireth to reap, let him thrust his sickle with his might, this is, God, I've read this a bit, like two or three times already. In the kingdom of God. It's like Disneyland in the sky, but better. Four. Yay. Whosoever will thrust his sickle and reap. The same is called of God. Five. Therefore, if you will ask of me, you shall receive. Unless you don't. 
If you will knock, it shall be opened unto you. Unless nobody's home or they don't want company. But he says every time it's going to happen. So. I'm just stating what reality is like. You should try it sometime. It ain't bad. It'd make a decent religion, actually. <laughs> Except <laughs> reality is just real. You know, there's no way you can monetize that, I don't think. <sighs> All right, six. Now, as you have asked, behold, I say unto you, keep my commandments and seek to bring forth and establish the cause of Zion. For the Gentiles, of course. Just them. Uh, seven. I mean, I'm just stating facts here. Not my opinion. I like everybody. And those are unlikable. Damn it, I got no beer. But, I do have... Uh. Olog Surkov. Jamendo.com, free download. Link below. Bitchin', huh? God damn it. Not gonna kill myself on this one. Already had three beers. Seek not for riches, but for wisdom. You've said that before too. I wonder what would happen if we uh, redacted uh, everything that is repetition. How thick these books would be. Probably they'd be like tracks. And behold, the mysteries of God shall be unfolded unto you, and then shall you be made rich. You've said this before. Damn. Behold, he that hath eternal life is rich. God, it's total repetition. Is there a footnote here? Nope. I know I've read this before. Of course, I'm reading this book at the same time, so I don't know. Maybe I'm getting confused. I just started reading this one. <laughs> All right. Eight. Verily, verily. That's right. I'm drinking to those. Oh, I got a drink board. How about that? Serendipity. I don't know how that happened. Hmm. This is it. I say unto you, in verse 8, Even as you desire of me, so it shall be done unto you. And if you desire, you shall be the means of doing much good in this generation. Which was like the 1829 uh, generation. Which was supposed to be the last one, I think. They were Latter-day Saints, remember? Except the Latter-day keeps getting extended into the future. Indefinitely. Nine. Say nothing but repentance unto this generation. Keep my commandments. And assist to bring forth my work. According to my commandments, and you shall be blessed. Ten, behold, thou hast a gift, or thou shalt have a gift, if thou wilt desire of me in faith. With an honest heart, 
believing in the power of Jesus Christ, or in my power, which speaketh unto thee? 11. For, behold, it is I that speak. Behold, I am the light which shineth in darkness, and by my power I give these words unto thee. Lots of repetition here. Oh, shit. How many more verily verilys are here? I might be in trouble. I don't see any others. All right. Oh, verily verily, God damn it! Oh. Where the fuck am I? Thirteen. Verily, verily. I say unto you, I will impart unto you of my spirit. And that's capitalized, so it's some serious shit. Which shall enlighten your mind, which shall fill your soul with joy. Goody. Fourteen, and then shall ye know, or by this shall you know, all things, all things, whatsoever you desire of me. Fourteen, which are pertaining unto things of righteousness. No. Okay, no indecency. Desires are going to be respected here. In faith, believing in me, that you shall receive. That's, wow, magic. Uh, Fifteen. Behold, I command you that you need not suppose that you are called to preach until you are called. That's your... Huh? It's like, shut the fuck up until we authorize it. Okay. Sixteen. And this is in America. This is in fucking America. What the fuck? Tells a person he can't talk. That's all preaching is. I, my grandfather was a preacher. Sixteen. He hated the Mormons. Oh, boy. And my dad's family was mostly Mormon. That was fun. Talk about awkward. <laughs> Sixteen. Wait! A little longer until you shall have my word. My rock. Is that that magic rock that he stuck in his hat? So he could read all this shit? Or, excuse me. This go book. My church and my gospel. That you may know of a surety my doctrine. Get it right. Or shut the fuck up. But I'm going to go on and Seventeen. And then, behold, according to your desires, yea, even according to your faith, shall it be done unto you. Eighteen. Keep my commandments. Hold your peace. Appeal unto my spirit. Again, Captain. So, I mean, damn. That's a... His spirit is Holy Ghost. Nineteen. Yea. Cleave unto me with all your heart. That 
you may assist in bringing to light those things of which has been spoken, yea, the translation of my work. Be patient until you shall accomplish it. This might not happen ever, that's all. Twenty. Behold, this is your work to keep my commandments, Biatch. Yea, with all your might, mind, and strength. He wants it all. Twenty-one. Seek not to declare my word, but first seek to obtain my word. And then shall your tongue be loosed. Wait, is he suddenly mute? Then, if you desire, you shall have my spirit and my word. Yea, the power of God unto the convincing of men. Twenty-two. But now hold your peace. Study my word which hath gone forth among the children of men. And also, study my word, which shall come forth among the children of men, or that which is now translating. Yea, until you have obtained all which I shall grant to the children of men, in this generation. And then shall all things be added. Here to one word. 23. Behold, thou art Hyrule, my son. Seek the kingdom of God. And all things shall be added according to that which is just. Just what? Twenty-four. Build upon my rock, which is my gospel. Twenty-five. Deny not the spirit of revelation nor the spirit of prophecy. For woe unto him that de denieth these things. Woe unto me, damn it! I'm really worried. Alright. 26. Therefore, treasure up in your heart until the time which is in my wisdom that you shall go forth. 27. Behold, I speak unto all who have good desires. Most of mine are good, if you were kind of naughty, but it's all right. <laughs> and have thrust your sickle to reap. That's a really disturbing metaphor there, farm boy. 28. Behold, I am Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I am the life and the light of the world. Really? I wouldn't say it if it wasn't so, right? So you can believe it. We're burned for fucking ever. Take his word. It feels cozier that way. 29. I am the same who came unto mine own, and mine own received me not. Lots of repetition here. But! Oh, man. He stuck one in on me. Just a 
Just a splash. That was blue. I'm done. And then some. 30! But. Barely, barely. Excuse me. I say unto you. Unto you. Or not. I don't know. That. As many as. Receive me. To them will I give power to become the sons of God. And I understand if I read on, maybe even full-fledged gods. Even to them that believe in my name. Amen. And that's it for uh, section 11. And by the way, I've been posting this, a link to a playlist on all my videos for quite a while now. King Follett Discourse is the last sermon of Joseph Smith where he talks about people becoming God. And God was a person that got born like everybody else and earned the right to be God. I didn't do it. It was a, a YouTuber called the, uh, I think the Red-Headed Zombie, I think. Anyway, link below. It's time I pointed that out because it's been there quietly and I want you guys to check it out. It's the a dramatization of his last I think he like got uh, assassinated like martyred excuse me like two or three months later and he didn't even mention it anyway peace the fuck out have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having check out Olav Surkov at jamendo.com link below you won't regret it the whole site is bitching.